Hello everyone, this is GrayShot117 and welcome to Know Your Units. You ever want to know more details about a certain unit from a certain thing? Well that's what this quick informative show is here to do for you today. Hosted by myself, GrayShot117, I'll go over different types of military units from historical events and times to fictional stuff. AKA, one episode I could talk about a tank from World War II, another I could be talking about a mecha anime. So, let's get to it, shall we? For the first episode, we're going to be talking about my personal favorite unit from Company for Heroes 2, called the B4. Technically, it's a 203mm howitzer from 1931, but I'm going to be calling it the B4 because that's its nickname, and also I have a cult around it. And I'm also trying to get on YouTube trending for the B4. So there's that whole thing going on. We're just going to ignore that for the time being. Anyway, let's get to the historical stuff, shall we? The B4 was created in 1931 in the USSR by Russian engineer Nikolai. I am not saying the rest of that name because I will surely mess it up. But there it is. Any case, it was created in 1931 and production started in 32 and continued throughout World War II until it ended in the mid 40s. Now, what is the specifics of this howitzer? The B4 had a width of about eight feet, 10 inches, a height about eight feet, two inches. However, unlike its travel size, when it was actually deployed, it can actually reach a roughly 17 feet from the tip of its barrel down to its back treads and usually was crewed about 15 people. It weighed roughly 20 tons and Unlike a lot of other artillery pieces, at least it had treads and uh, at least mobility to it. Sure, it had to be pulled by a Zis truck, aka the Soviet equivalent of a Jeep, but that being said, at least it was a little bit more mobile than other pieces of artillery, which helped, because even though the thing could fire 11 miles, that's not what it was really supposed to do. It was meant to fire close range. Why? Because it's 100 kilogram shell. This thing was used to break down the German forts and other barriers that were pretty much stopping the Soviets during their path to Berlin and even in Berlin. Now the nickname of this thing was called Stalin's Sledgehammer because of its explosive power and the Germans also may have on their trek to Moscow borrowed a few of these. Remember they were producing them before World War II even started so they tried to line a couple B4s in the way of the Germans to hold them back. Suffice to say, that didn't work, and the Germans nicknamed theirs the 20.3 Hobbits. Again, I'm not going to say I'm not mispronouncing that name. During the war, it was used in major battles into crack fortifications, and the one that kind of sticks out was the Battle of Berlin, where the Germans were dug in pretty deep. How do you get them out? Well, bring in the B4, fire down the street, and blow up the building they're currently dug into, and bye-bye building. Simple, right? Now, the B-4 once again ended production in the mid-40s, but is supposedly still used actually to this day. Currently, there's speculation that's currently being used in the Ukrainian Civil War, aka the war in Donbass. Again, don't know how accurate those reports are, but I can say the Soviet Union did use these after the war for some time. Now, you could be saying, great shot, why wasn't this thing used on a tank? It would be perfect. It could literally just one shot any tank it came into. You just fire point blank and boom, it's gone. And you would be right. But one catch. So they hooked it onto a KV-1S chassis. And again, the ideas for this popped up in 43 and went to production with a prototype in 1944 called the S-51. Now you could be saying, oh, great shot, of course, and this thing was a huge success. Wrong. Unfortunately, the thing kind of blew off its transmission, knocked out the crew, and made the tank literally fall apart. So they decided not to send in a death trap for their own soldiers, because the last thing you want to do is send in armor that's prone to failure. I mean, how could that even be effective in combat if it can't even get there? I mean, that's a stupid move. Anyway, that's the B4 in a nutshell, and I hope you guys enjoyed Know Your Units for this quick little installment. Tune in next time to where we may go into a German variant of explosive armament. But in any case, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave your comments down below for other units I may look into. Once again, it can be historical or something fictional. As long as there's enough details that I can make a five-minute video out of it, I'm good. But in any case, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Hey guys, before I go, I want to give a special shout out once again to Joey, Ace, Sean, Sejones, Leonard, Lou, Nick, Levings, and Tim. Thank you all for your awesome support, and I'll see you guys next time.